Hello everybody, this is Ryan A on the Red Squadron and today we will be 2017 Lego Store Catalog. We're about to hit that wave where a ton of catalogs are going to come out and really fast. But let's start looking at it. On the front we can see we have the Green Ninja Mech Dragon promotion and the latest exclusive set um, when this catalog came out which would be the Ninjago City set. Okay, if we open up to the inside, we can see that there is a description with all the minifigures, um, all the set um, showings, all the floors, all the new ones, and a guide to the whole catalog, including the minifigure series currently running, which is the LEGO Ninjago minifigure series. On the next page, we go to the LEGO Ninjago movie sets, since the movie just came out, uh, which are all the bounty, which is the best of them all, and uh, things like the Ninjago City and Master Falls. On page two, we see more, more vehicles like the Dragon, the Fire Mech, and the Ice Tank. In my opinion, none of these are really that good, but I can say that they do have a very decent amount of detail in them, but for their prices, most of these are not worth it, in my opinion. On the next page, we can see the Ben Bells, or uh, Big Ben. I like to call it Ben Bells. Um, if I remove this advertisement, you can see the Ferrari um, F40, which says Last Chance. There's the Volkswagen uh, Beetle, and there's the London Bus, which is new. Um, all of which are uh, very creative sets. Then there is the Modelers, which are hard to f and the hard to find. And there's the Carousel and the 10th Anniversary Modeler, which is personally one of my favorite yet released. Next, we have the Pirates of the Caribbean set with uh, the Saint Mary or Silent Mary. I like to call it Saint. Um, then there's the Disney Castle, which came out last year, which now have gained the Totty Award. T-O-T-Y, if you can see it right there. It's a award winner, and I'm proud that finally a Disney set have actually got to that. They make so many, and it turns out that it finally has. Then there's the no the Ghostbusters Echo One and Two, which it says Last Chance as well again, and the Firehouse Headquarters, which is still there, uh, not Last Chance though. Then there's the event calendars and an advertisement for Lego Life, but in my opinion, the event calendars are definitely more important than Lego Life. <laughs> Okay, next we have the mini models and the models of modern houses and all that. They're all nice little builds to have every here and there. And the old fishing store, which is personally one of the best out of all of them, in my opinion. Then we have the brand new crafting box 2.0, which personally is much better than the first one, except that it doesn't have a moose room. The ocean monument, which really is just a big hall space in my opinion, and not that good, maybe only for modeling. And then there is the best of them all, the mountain cave. Next up is the m one of the most important and center page of the entire thing, the new Star Wars sets for The Last Jedi. Yes, The Last Jedi. There is the Resistance Troop Transport, the Heavy First Order Assault Scout Walker, and there's really the whole overview of the page other than the big First Order Star Destroyer and first First Order Star Destroyer. Okay, next up we see Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter with Kylo Ren and BB-9E for The Last Jedi, and we see... The First Order Heavy Assault Walker with the big new BB-8 just like the R2 that came out a few years ago and the Resistance Bomber.
Next, we can see Ray, the buildable fig, Chewbacca, the Praetorian Guard, the Elite TIE Fighter Pilot, and the Slave One. Then there's the Assault on Hoth, which says Last Chance, as well as the TIE Fighter, which also says Last Chance. Then there's the Death Star, like always. Uh, it's one of the biggest sets other than the new Falcon. And there's the S Snow Speeder as well. Okay, now we have uh, some of the Technic sets, such as the 6 times 6 all-terrain tow truck and the air race jet, including uh, the airport rescue vehicle, which is right underneath it. There's a few more, the tracked ones from Lego Technic, just so you can see. And there's the um, Salomon or Solomon R. Gunrick Museum right there. And the Ark of Trump from Paris, I think it is. Okay. On the next page, there's just a lot of reasons why to shop with them and all that. But more importantly, the Batman movie sets. Although the new ones are yet to come out, we're, there's still a lot about them. Then there's the Justice League sets for the new movie. Um, the Flying Fox Batmobile Airlift, which is the best. And then the two other smaller ones for characters mainly. Then if you're a Thor fan, uh, you must know about Thor Rugmuck. And this is probably why you're seeing this video. To see what sets there are. And there you go. The Ultimate Battle for Asgard and Thor vs. Hulk Arena Clash. There's the Shield Carrier, which sadly says Last Chance as well. On the next page, we can see some city, which has the To the Rescue as the sub theme, and it has some of the Sea Adventure Coast Guard and some of the Jungle Expedition. Then, like my sister, I have to know this for this review. This is some Lego Friends stuff. Um, the Snow Resort, I think it is, it says there. But here you go, there's the sets. I don't know a lot about them, but you could look into them. Here's the images. Okay, now we get to the new part. First, we have the Moist Storm set that we've seen several times and this is um the gift page so what this does is we'll have to end up opening this and now we have a three folded open wide so there's some city sets like my favorite there the mobile command center and there's the police station and most of these have reviews just like that overall this is probably the best Lego police set out there. Probably for Chase McCain, he said that. Okay, then there's things like the Star Wars sets uh, with a review. And uh, more Jungle Expedition. As well as the Batman ones and some Lego Friend ones. Then on the back, uh, something very interesting that I haven't looked into much. But it's very popular right now in Lego, which is the Lego Boost Creative Toolbox. I don't know a lot about this, but if you do, uh, quickly give me like a little talk in the description. I know it's very similar to my storms, but I don't know a lot other than that. Okay, well everyone, thank you for watching this Fall 2017 catalog review. And this was Ryan A. on the Red Squadron. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.